Hey, what's up guys? Inferno Warrior here with another Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile video. The wait is finally over. Finally, I have an update for you for my Galaxy profile included with the new Felgrim support that just came out on Friday. And I'm actually very excited to be doing this because... I think the last time I made a Galaxy deck profile video was back in December 2014, so it's been over a year. I've been almost two years, actually. So this it's crazy. I haven't made a deck profile of this in a while, but things have happened. Like the deck got taken apart, and I only rec I only recently got it put back together with the new Felgrin support, and it's actually been working pretty well. I got um, on Saturday, well today Sunday, so yesterday I went to locals. I let's see the first tournament I was able to make the top four with this deck so the deck is really good and I, I really love playing it it's a lot of fun and I mix I mixed it with the galaxy support and with some blue eye support and it's surprising because it does very very well but enough about that I'll go ahead and get started with the deck profile now alright so first up for the monster lineup we have three galaxy soldiers the one that lets you you pitch a light monster special special summons him and then you get to search one, very um, need it for the deck, need three, no more no more no less. Then have three galaxy wizard. Um, it's up to you whether you want to play two or three of this, but I like playing three of it simply because it's a great searcher and it could also make itself a level eight to combo off of expedition which I am also playing in this deck. So very very good card. I run it at three, but again, personal preference, run it at two if you like. Then next, the, next we have two Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragons. Now, I was running this at three, but I cut it down to two with the new Felgrin support because I didn't want to have to clog with the hand of Galaxy Eyes. And plus, um, with my with this new build, two, um, two is basically all you need. You could get away with running one, but I run two for the fact that if I want to go into a Prime Photon and and try an OTK, I don't do a I don't do half damage. So that's why that's the reason why I'm running two of him. But feel free to run like one or two or something else, maybe even Blue Eyes if you so wish. Then um, we run two Galaxy Knights. Don't really need three for this build, but you know you. Yeah, you, you need to at least. So, yeah. You know, special summons uh, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon from the graveyard whenever it's normal summon. So, so yep. Yeah. Then, for the for the new Felgren support, we have three of the Divine Lord... Divine Dragon Lord Felgren. This card is so amazing. So, what so what, the, what this thing does is if it's special summon from the graveyard, it can target one of your opponent's monsters in the graveyard or on the field and banish it then this card gains attack e times 100 times the level or rank that monster has so it's a, it's a very very good card it's almost it's pretty much like a BLS and also if it if it kills one of your opponent's monsters by battle you can target one level 7 or 8 dragon type monster in the graveyard besides himself and special summons it so really really good card I run this thing at 3 I'm I don't not I'm not sure if I'm gonna be cutting him down, but for right now I'm running at three because he is really really good. But I might cut him down to two later on if I find out I'm getting um like more inconsistent hands. Then next I play two Arc Brave Dragon also with the new Felgrand support, and this guy does and this guy if he special summon from the graveyard, you can you can banish as many spell and trap cards as possible on your opponent's side of the field. And then this card games 200 attack time, 200 attack times the number of cards that were banished. So really, really good counter against Pendulum decks. Love this card, and also it has a second effect. Whenever it's sent to the graveyard during the standby phase of the next turn, you can target one other Dragon type monster besides this, uh, level seven or eight, and then special summon it. So you see, if you get this in the grave and this is in the grave. Well, yeah. If you get Ark in the grave and uh, Felgrand's in the grave, you can summon Felgrand and then target one of their monsters and banishes it. So it's a really, really good card. I love it. The only reason I'm not running it at three is because it might be a little bit more consistent. Considering I don't run rank sevens in the deck yet, which might change depending on what happens. Um, yeah, it's kind of inconsistent. And plus, it doesn't work with trade in. So two is just two for me is just good enough. 
Next, also with the news for and support, running two Dragon Knight creation. And let's see what this guy does. Um, its level goes up to eight during your opponent's turn, which is uh, not not really that great. But it also, but if it destroys one of your opponent's monsters by battle, it you can send one of your level seven or eight dragon type, send one of your level seven or eight dragon type monster to the graveyard, and then. And then also, if it's, and then also you can tribute this guy, send one card from your hand to the graveyard, and then you can target one, one uh, level seven or eight dragon type monster in the graveyard and special summons it. So I like running, I like running this guy at two. I don't know if I'm gonna cut him down to one, but he's a, he's a good utility card. Probably like a last ditch effort out, or if I need to fool with something that bad and I don't have um. Foolish Burial or um, Ravine, which I'm also running. Then finally for monster lineup, uh, two Dragon Spirit of White, and this is also this combos very well too because if this guy is normal or special summoned, you can target one spell or trap. Is it? I think it's one spell or trap. Yeah, one spell or trap your opponent controls and banish it, which is really really good. And so so you can send Arc Brave to the graveyard and then. And then standby phase, you can bring this guy back, banish where your opponent's spell traps. It's really, really good. And also, um, the second effect is irrelevant for me, but but if your opponent controls a monster, you can tribute you can tribute him, and then spell some one blue eyes from your hand. It's part of the reason why I'm considering running blue eyes in this, but yeah, not right now. I think the deck buildup is as okay as is. Anyway, that's it for the monster lineup. All right, now for spells. Running triple trade in. A necessity in this deck since you run a lot of high levels. Next, we run a three Galaxy Expedition combos with Wizard or Soldier or Galaxy Eyes, like or any Galaxy card. Really, really good tech in this deck. Although I'm considering cutting this down to two so I can put a Terraform in the deck to search out Ravine just to make the deck more a little more consistent. Then next, uh, three of the new spell. They came out in the structure deck. Uh, Return of the Dragon Lords. This targets one level seven or eight dragon type monster in your graveyard and special summons it. And then also, if it's in the graveyard, you can banish this card. If any, if a face up dragon or or any dragons that you control will be destroyed by a card effect or battle, you can banish it. You can banish this card instead, and and they're not destroyed. So this this is a very very awesome card. A must run at three. Love this card. Anyways, next up, have uh, two Dragon Ravines. Um, basically, you you uh, discard. You can discard any card to the graveyard. Then, then you can send one Dragon type monster from your deck to the graveyard. That's the only effect I use in this. I don't use the first effect because I don't run Chikardis as you as you just saw. Then, nextly, uh, two Twin Twisters for back row because sometimes back row can kill this deck. Then uh, one Foolish Burial. One Raigeki and one Soul Charge. And that is it for spells. Then next to the trap lineup. Running three Call of the Hornets for Revival because Revival is absolute necessary in this deck. You can run two if you want, but I choose to run three because because it's so important that you revive your stuff from Graveyard so you can get your effects just a just a plus off of just a plus off of the dragon's effects. You know, it's it's a must have for me at three. Then finally one solemn morning and one chaos trap hole. Alright, we're done with the main deck. Uh, time for the extra deck. Okay, firstly we are running uh, for rank five. The only rank five we are running. Cyber Dragon Nova and then the only rank six we are running, as you can probably tell, Cyber Dragon Infinity. Really, um, really good because you can use two soldiers to get into this. You can make a, you can make a really good field if you have a soldier, um, a galaxy eyes, and an expedition. Like you can make a really good field, and it's a, and it's only a three card combo, which is really great. Um, okay, then we have next the rank eights. Um, one number twenty three. Let's see, one number 38, Hope Harbinger, 
Then, let's see, two Prime Photons. Then we have two Tachyons. Two Galaxy Eyes Full Armors. One Felgrand. And that's for the rank eights. Then for the only rank nines we were playing, two Dark Matters. And then, and then for the last two monsters of the extra deck, uh, Pain Gainer, and then Seven Sins. And for, the, for those of you who are wondering why I'm running this, you can actually go into this guy by using, by using number 23, which we do is, <clears throat> sorry, which we do is you um, make this guy, then overlay Pain Gainer onto this guy since you can use a, you can use a level 8, 9, or 10 Dark Xyz as the material for this guy. And then go into this guy because you can use, um, any, because you can use Pain Gainer, Pain Gainer as the material for, for this guy. Which is really good. Like, I actually won a game because I, because I did that once. Alrighty, and then, uh, lastly, the side deck. Uh, very, uh, kind of like a standard side deck, but with some of the new support. Um, two Max C's. Very standard. Um, two Flying C's. Uh, two Effect Bailers. Um, two Dark Holes. The reason I'm main two dark holes is because of things like Vanity's Fiend and Majesty's Fiend because Vanity's and Majesty's Fiend kills this deck because it relies on monster effects and special summoning so if you get Vanity's Fiend and you can't draw a reliable out it's it's pretty much almost a game over so so if I so if I know somebody's gonna side in Vanity's Fiend against me or I win the first game and then they and I see Vanity's Fiend I'll side these two in just so I can get a reliable out then next we have New for the support, we have uh, two Ruins of the Divine Dragon Lords, and what this card does, if you control a level 7 or 8 Dragon Type monster, when when a monster would be special summoned except from the graveyard, that monster's effects are negated until the end of the turn, then once per turn, you can send one other face-up card you control and then special summon one Dragon Lord token. I actually have one, I actually have one right here, if you, if you so, if you so want to see it. There you go. Then, um, let's see, and then it also says, and then if, if the card is in your graveyard, you can discard one level 7 or 8 dragon type monster from your hand, and then, or, or your side of the field, and then add this card back from the graveyard to your hand. So, so really, really good tech against some decks like, um, Pepe, like, I don't, and Cosmos, actually. So really, yeah, re really, really good, really, really good tech card, well, side card. Um, one Galaxy Cyclone for the next one. I'm using this in place of a t Twin Twisters until I can actually get one. And this is also searchable off a of Galaxy Wizard too, which is which makes it, which also makes it not a not a bad side card for this deck. Then next, lastly, we have a Master Restrict. Pulling the rug. This is only until I get another Master Restrict. And then two iron walls. All right, and that is it. And I think that will be it for the deck profile, pretty much. Alrighty, thanks, th thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Sorry that it took me so long to get this uh, deck profile out, but like I said, I've been having problems trying to get all these cards. And until recently, I haven't I hadn't been able to get my hands on some of these cards so, because some cards have actually skyrocketed, like um, full armor skyrocketed up to 15 after this set came out, and I was just surprised. So it was kind of hard to get, but I got it. So yeah, and, and that's the reason I'm able to bring this deck profile to you guys. And I really I really love this deck. It's really fun. If you can build it, I would I would recommend building it. It's really it's really really fun. Although my build is more on the expensive side, so you can build a more budget one if so necessary. The budget one actually doesn't actually runs pretty um, just about as good as this. But anyway, that is the end of this profile. I hope you enjoy it. Leave a like. Uh, leave, leave a like, comment if you see something that could be improved. I I'm always looking for um like constructive criticism or what have you, you know just you know and comment you know comment like and if you like this subscribe, and that is it. I will see you guys later until the next deck profile, which in which I will be doing pendulums, after, after I actually get it back. Until then, see ya.